Hey everyone, Sefer here with another green light game for Steam or Vapor. This is Cannon Brawl, which you would have seen right there, except that starting the video skips the title screen. <laughs> Any button will work there, apparently. I've been playing through the campaign a bit and actually really enjoying it. It's basically it's kind of an RTS game, RTS slash worms. I don't know what you want to call it. And but I just got a second playable character. Heals the building nearest the airship. Cooldown times are ten percent shorter. She's the one you start with. You start at first playing with the prince or princess, and then you rescue the prince. And your goal is essentially your evil uncle is invading your lands, and you have to fight fight back against him. As you can see, it's very well two D. It's very flat. You go from left to the right. It's kind of like um, Swords and Soldiers. I think it was called HD. But actually, like enjoy this one much more. It's more my style. I'm not real good at RTS but games, but this one has been really fun. So let me show you how it works. Shoot the bomb bots that w oh they walk. So you have to destroy them before they get to me. I got it. So you see you control the airship and you have to build stuff. Including expanding your territory so that you can build stuff further away. Because you can only build stuff that's within your visible territory. Crap, he just shot that at me. Come on. Build the... Build the balloon. Thank you. What just happened there? Hmm. I'm not, not entirely sure that I did that right. Come on. I need to get this crystal here. Crap. I built it and he immediately blew it up. Little bastard. Alright, upgraded the rocket. That should take care of him. Oh, or maybe not. Crap, he's gonna get another one off. I spent too much on the balloons. I really didn't need that last one. That takes care of that, but that also takes care of my... Okay, that's okay though. I can afford to spend another 10 to get rid of that. Did I drop it? There. There we go. He doesn't have another bomb bot at the moment. I need another cannon. When Your cannons have three levels of upgrade. When you first start, you can't upgrade them. But as you go, uh, go through the stages, you obviously get to be able to. The first level has limited range, second level is a little better. Third level, though, as far as I can tell, has unlimited range. It shoots wherever it wants to. However, it also costs 10 per shot. But they also explode, so if you get it right there, get a perfect shot off. You also don't have to break everything. Nothing says that I can't just go straight after his... Well, his base, as soon as I can get it in range. Which I am doing right now. There we go! <laughs> it's almost cheating! <laughs> but that's all you gotta do. You saw he had a shield up. There are also shield mechanics like that. Ooh, now I can build the demolishers. Oh, they walk through shields. Very nice. And each stage has the three different stars, although I'm not sure how you could possibly miss that first star. Success, mission complete. I've missed the second star a couple times. Um, efficiency? Because, well, you build stuff that you don't need later. Oh! That's all of the missions. Let's see if there's... There's probably not AI battles yet. But let's find out. Waiting for player. Use the gamepad. Use the keyboard. Okay, well, you can technically play a local multiplayer. Yeah, that won't do me any good, though. Let's see if I can go back into the campaign. And I will show you what the very beginning looks like. Well, hey, this one. I never finished effic efficiency for this one, so let's go ahead and do it. Oh, that's right. This was the first one. The very first stage just 
showed you how to build a mine. There was no actual combat to it. I won't be able to upgrade in this one though, so it'll be very, very simple and straightforward. You can see that there are cooldowns. You can't build as fast as you want. Build a cannon tower. Oh, I shouldn't have built that. See, I screwed up. I wasn't supposed to build that um, balloon. However, the enemy is very slow in this early stage. So it's not really an issue. <laughs> With only one gold mine, there's not a whole lot to do. Coming from that other stage, where it's very kind of getting hectic, it's interesting. Don't need you anymore. Since I can't upgrade especially, there's just no point in having multiple cannons that are too far back for me to use. This one should still have enough of an arc to get down there. I, I love the cannon mechanic. It it turns an RTS game into something that takes a, a different style of skill, and it's something that works better with me. Let's go ahead and drop another cannon here, and I'll blast this guy out of the water. Apparently, it shows you your last trajectory. So the last shot that you fired, and, how, and where it went. So if you can aim higher from that... Oh, I almost got him. But again, these first cannon shots don't have all that long of range. They The shells drop quickly. But this should do it. There we go. And that's the basics. That's the intro. Let's see if I got the efficiency that time. And that's also where it teaches you. Yep. So that's all you got to do for that. That, however, is the complete alpha demo. As, as you saw, this is an alpha demo. So this game is not complete yet. Not even fully in beta. Oh, that's right. I was going to say, couldn't I play that? No. But that's going to do it for today. This is Cannon Brawl. I enjoyed this a lot more than I expected. I mean, I love Worms types games, but I'm, again, I'm not very good at RTS. The combination here, though, is awesome. Playing against another person might still not turn out very well, <laughs> but the campaign has been very enjoyable. It's definitely something I would suggest trying out. Thank you for joining me, though. This has been Cannon Brawl, Steamer Vapor Greenlight today. I will catch you all next time. See you later.